Action News 5 at 10 starts now. Six lives lost in the city of Memphis this weekend, and three of them all under the age of 15. The final tally on the number of people hurt and affected in this violence this weekend is almost unbelievable. WMC Action News Chris Luther breaks down this chaotic weekend, including a new arrest just made in the last few hours. There was little peace around the city of Memphis this weekend. After the first uh, round of gunfire, I heard screaming, then I heard another round of gunfire, and then uh, I somebody started shooting again. No incident was more violent this weekend than what happened on Kerr Avenue Saturday night, just steps away from Joyce Finley's front door. Four people were injured in a shooting after a large fight. Joyce saw the tragic last moments shared between a 15-year-old boy who was shot and his family member. She was kneeled down over there holding them, and I could hear her saying, please, no, no, this is not right. Please, please wake up, please wake up. According to Memphis police reports, 13 people were injured in violent incidents since Friday. 10 people were shot. There were six homicides, and three of those homicides involved minors. One of those children was 12-year-old Devin Johnson, who was shot in the head while sleeping in his bed, leaving his family with tears and questions. Why? Why you take my son my life? It wouldn't even work it. Three people have been arrested from incidents over the weekend. Police arrested Terrence Rogers for first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse in the death of a three-year-old girl. Reuben Walton turned himself in to investigators and is charged with first-degree murder in connection with the shooting on Sandy Park. And late Sunday night, Cartarius Williams was charged with aggravated assault, aggravated child abuse, and first-degree murder in the death of 12-year-old Devin Johnson. So many parents are losing their children, and that's, that wasn't God's plan. It, you know, the parents were not supposed to outlive their children. Multiple suspects are still wanted for the other violent incidents this weekend. In Memphis, Chris Luther, WMC Action News 5. Uh, we have learned to...